modern sport and that has invented the rules of sport that has brought in in the values the value of fair play and other values so i think is that's the identity that has to be built around on well this is a little bit of london right in the heart of beijing and this is where the celebrations are going to be a bit later on for the last couple of years of course we've been focusing on what's happening in china highlighting the problems the protests and of course the the good side of the games as well but what do the chinese think about london how would they portray what we're up to in our capital city we thought we'd take the opportunity to ask a chinese television reporter celia lee to give us her view of london this is where london celebrated winning the bid of 2012 olympic games in the leading up to the beijing games the world media putting China under an intense scrutiny and a thorough checkup. Now it's London's turn to get on the examination table. I've been reporting on Britain for six years now and I'm impressed with its culture, education, economy and the multiculturalism. It was amusing to find out that the nation's favorite dish is curry. But then with English food like black pudding, well, who can blame you? But poverty is a problem here too. You can see the divisions between the rich and the poor. Britain boasts that the NHS helps even out the inequality. But this is an institution that, although free, has long waiting lists and patients can pick up superbugs in hospitals. There also isn't a pride in the cities. In China, people get fined for dropping litter. But there's not much evidence of that here. Some developing countries are accused by the West of corruption. But in the building behind me here, MPs can pay their mortgages with taxpayers' money or even putting their relatives on the government's payroll. To the rest of the world, this can certainly raise some eyebrows. I do defend my colleagues in Parliament of all parties. They live in Scotland, they live in Wales, they live in Cornwall, the north of England. Uh, they can't be there the whole time and they can't be in London the whole time. They have to have two addresses to operate from effectively. And what about Britain's human rights record? The eyes to the right, 315. This is the country where MPs recently voted for terror suspects to be locked up for 42 days with a charge. They say it is for the security of the nation. But how safe is a country where even its own Home Secretary says she wouldn't feel safe walking through some of the streets of the capital? Back in 2005, for instance, uh, London had um, the uh, underground bombs and um, so people tended to question whether if you couldn't cope with a G8 meeting for maybe just two days at Glen Eagles um, when the bombs happened and um, how could you possibly you know have a very uh, trouble-free uh, Olympics. As construction for the Games continues in East London the cost has already spurred up almost four times the original estimate to 9.3 billion pounds. Imagine, even if that amount was doubled, it would still be a lot less than the 22.6 billion pounds Beijing put into its games. And while well, all of China got behind the Olympics, here there's mixed reaction from the locals. I don't like the idea that I'm paying 90 pounds a year on my council tax, uh, when I won't even get a free ticket. The area is not what it used to be, and I think it will make it more exciting, and. It'll make it just the area better. It's cost a lot of money. Olympics always cost a lot of money. But there, again, we're not going to do a Beijing thing. But I think it'd be good, but it's not going to last for long, is it? Like, it only lasts for a few months. And all that money just for a few months, so I don't know if it's going to be really worth it. It's, it's worth it because other people... It's, it's inspiring. If the Beijing Games has cemented China's place as a superpower of the 21st century, then what will London's statement to the world be? It's here in four years' time that we'll find out. Can London hold a cheaper but better Olympics? And can they deliver the memories that will truly last a lifetime? The world is watching. Celia Lee from Fist TV reporting for Sky News. What do you think? Let us know. Uh, skynews.com for more information on this. News at sky.com if you'd like to let us know about the Olympics. This, as I said, is going to be where the party is a little bit later on. Boris 